Hello, and today we're going to be running through an entire ECTIS annual competency assurance training course from start to finish. At the start of each course there's a brief description including what's included in the course and uh, the structure of the course as well as some other information. As we move down we can see one, two, three, four, five, six modules. And within each of those modules are several slides. If we try and click on any of the modules other than the first one, we won't be able to. We'll have to go back to the start and begin again. And you'll see here there's a status. As each one of these modules is completed, these statuses turn green. So let's move on and get on to the first module. So this is the first module. Uh, it's, a, it's sort of a pre-module, if you like, of a course introduction. Within each module, there are several slides. Uh, we need to again click on the first one, the introduction. I'm just going to go through each course and, uh, and read out all the content. You'll see down here a mark complete button, which there's a timer beneath it. Uh, you do need to wait for the timer to complete before you can click mark complete. Uh, you need to click on the mark complete for each slide um, initially. And when you ever go back in the uh, in the future and have a look at these slides, you can just click the next slide. But the very first time, you must click mark complete. Okay, let's begin. Transas ECTIS ACAT introduction. Welcome to your annual competency assessment in your knowledge of ECTIS. This course is designed to test your knowledge of your system, regardless of what training you may have previously received. Once you have completed each slide, you will need to click the button at the bottom of the left of the screen saying Mark Complete to move forward onto the next slide. Transas Ectis ACAT about this course. During the course, it is important to remember that we are not teaching you how to navigate using Ectis, nor does this replace all the other Ectis training you need. We are assessing that you know all the key menus on your ship-specific ECTIS in order to navigate safely. Therefore, we are assuming you have the basic knowledge, uh, navigation knowledge in accordance with STCW qualifications and have been using your ECTIS for some time. Transas ECTIS ACAT, your examination. The results of this course are monitored by your ship manager or operator. Therefore, prior to attempting to answer the questions at the end of each module, ensure you know the right answer. Don't guess, refer to your ECTIS on board if you need to. A wrong answer is recorded even if later on you get the answer right. Your results are monitored as this is the evidence and proof that you know how you use your equipment regardless of what training you may have received. You have been warned. How to complete this course successfully. Ideally, you're conducting this ACAT near your actual ECTIS equipment, as it will aid you when reviewing the key menus highlighted in the modules. See an example hotspot below. Example hotspot. Take your time, as these menus are highlighted for a reason. During the test questions, you will need to know where they are instinctively. Navigating through the ACAT. The below modules are covered through this course. Familiarisation, navigational tools, route planning, route monitoring and chart updating. You'll need to go through each module and each part in the correct order. After completing each model, module, you can go back again prior to the tests. And remember your answers, right or wrong, are recorded as the evidence that you know you ma you'll make and model instinctively. Keep guessing on all the questions and you'll eventually receive your certificate but this is monitored by your manager and he or she will be well aware that you're struggling with your practical knowledge of ECTIS. Good luck and please proceed to Module 1, Familiarisation. Once we click Mark Complete on the, the final slide, we do then automatically move on to the next module. Transas Module 1, Familiarisation. Main Display Introduction. It is necessary for you to become familiar with the operation of the ECTIS set, particularly with the basic navigational f functions, menu structure and important navigational functions. Take your time reviewing the hotspots on the ACAT and then on your system reviewing the key menus. Refresh yourself on the basics first, do not power down by simply turning off at the plug. That could lead to loss of data and the possibility that the system may not restart. It may also cause, di cause disk uh, disk fragmentation and cause the system to run slower such as the below example of a fragmented hard drive. Has your ECTIS appeared to slow down over time? Slide 1, Main Display. Hover over a hotspot to learn more. Conning information. Centre ship. 
conning display mode options, alarms and warnings, ship's position, chart information, sensor indicator window, system navigational tools, and main menus. Transas Compilation Scale Introduction The scale of the data contained in the cell is dependent upon the navigational purposes, e.g. overview, general, coastal, approach, harbour and berthing. For example, chart GB50202, GB equals authorising HO, 6 equals berthing, 5 equals harbour, 4 equals approach, 3 equals coastal, 2 equals general, 1 equals overview, 0202 individual cell number. As the above example shows that when we come to turn layers on and off we need to ensure first that we understand what scale of chart we are on. The below example shows that usage bounds vary but the most important element is that you understand you are on the correct scale, the best available and now can configure the layers of ENC overlays correctly. Slide 2 Compilation Scale Presentation mode, zoom in, larger scale stroke zoom out, smaller scale, best scale, chart database options, and scale selection options. Transas chart selection introduction. It is important to understand that in the main, the world has not been resurveyed for the compilation of ENC charts. It is paramount that you understand the reliability of your chart which may have been surveyed many years ago, albeit recently issued as an ENC. You need to ensure that you can access the ENC layers and in particular be able to review cat socks and understand their importance. Slide 3. Chart selection. Hover over a hotspot to learn more. ENC custom display settings. IMO display categories. IMO base display. IMO standard display. IMO all stroke other display. Transas presentation independence of data introduction. The active display is the window through which the database ENC can be viewed. The independence of data is the concept that when an object is not displayed on the screen, it is still there and is able to trigger alarms. By interrogating the chart, information about an ENC can be viewed. The following information is provided. 1. Chart legend. Chart type name, agency code, PL version, edition and update number, format number, issue date, navigation purpose, compilation scale, horizontal datum, vertical datum, sounding datum, projection, depth units and height units. 2. Object information, 3. Update history and 4. Text and diagrams from file. Slide 4. ENC custom options part 1 of 3. Information icon, ENC cell information. ENC custom options part 2 of 3, objects visually highlighted, object attributes. Slide 6, ENC cell information, 3 of 3. Ship logbook details. Transas raster chart information introduction. RNC or raster charts are available and have almost global coverage of all scales as shown above. They provide an obvious advantage of familiar formats of the Mariner, but also a number of disadvantages. RNCs are designed to be displayed at the same resolution as that which they are provided. Excessive zooming in or out to the same image seriously degrades the RNC image. RCDS allows charts of appropriate scale to be displayed. When the user wants to zoom in, then a larger scale chart will be displayed, and similarly, on zooming out, a smaller scale chart will be used. Orientation of the RCDS display to other than north up, e.g. course up or route up, may affect the readability of chart text and symbols. If available on your system, we need to, a need to be able to demonstrate how to select RNC charts and utilise their information. If you have RNC charts installed and available, we need to learn how to review their updates.
Slide 7. Raster chart information. Now we've completed all the modules, now we scroll down and now enter the Transas Test 1 familiarization. Question 1. Where would you turn on the cat socks? Question 2. Where on the screen does it tell you if you are overscaled or a large, larger scale ENC available? Now wait for the results. I've reached uh, two of two points, that's 100% score, so I can now move on to the next module. Module two, navigational tools. Navigational tools introduction. Navigation tools is the specific menus where we look to add to our ENC chart. It ranges from being able to use an EBL strict VRM to how we can quickly draw on the chart in the event of a man overboard. In navigation tools we also look at how we define safe water, draw on the chart and look at ways of fixing the vessel or better put, proving GPS correct. Navigational tools slide 1. Man overboard, navigational tool options, EBLs and VRMs, lines of position, event marker, adding information, and split screen. Transas EBLs and VRMs introduction. We need to refresh ourselves in how we measure from A to B. The colours of the EBL and the VRM may vary depending on uh, upon S52 and the version number within the make and model. However, we will now look at where to access the EBL and VRM so that you can go on to practice with this navigational tool on your actual egg disk. EBLs and VRMs. Hover over hotspot to find out more. EBL1 stroke VRM1 on. EBL2 stroke VRM2 off, offset button, and parallel index lines. Transas adding information introduction. A clean chart is not adequate for navigation. The objective here is to introduce the concept of adding information to the chart on the ECDIS. The hotspots will show where you can construct areas, lines, points and text by utilising system features to add additional information. It will be good at this point to refresh yourself in how to make plot a fictional temporary chart amend. Adding information. Hover over hotspots to find out more. Editing options for objects added. Object options. Object display label, detailed description. Defining safe water introduction. The recommended calculation of safety depth is draft plus squat plus required underkeel clearance minus height of tide HOT. Safety contour is the next charter contour beyond the safety depth. For example, if the chart on display has 5 metres and 10 metre contours and you have set your safety depth at 6 metres, the 10 metre contour will be used as the safety contour. We now need to look at how we can view the safety contour. The safety contour is a key menu to understand as it is the automatic alarm feature when standing into danger. Slide 4. 
Defining Safe Water Part 1 of 3. ENC settings. 4 stroke 2 depth shades. Shallow water highlight pattern. And editable depths. Slide 5. Defining Safe Water Part 2 of 3. Slide 6, Soundings, Part 3 of 3. Bold Soundings, Unsafe Water. Grey Soundings, Safe Water. Transas position fixing introduction. The GPS position should not be relied upon. Prove it correct regularly using visual and radar means. We need to understand where the menu is to produce a fix. Slide 7. Position fixing. Manual fix, lines of position function. And that's now the end of navigational tools module. We scroll down, again, click on the test and complete the questions. Question one, which menu would you find the LOP function? Question 2. Put the below in order for selecting manual position. Again, reach 2 of 2 points, that's 100%. So now continue to module 3. Module 3. Route planning. Route Introduction The principles of passage planning remain unchanged. The navigator must still research the route as normal and utilise all available charts and publications as necessary. The navigator must decide which route is to be taken. And the fundamentals of passage planning remain the same. Appraisal, planning, execution, monitoring. The appraisal and planning elements overlap, as do the execution and monitoring elements. Remember, source data diagram, or CAT SOX, must be considered during the appraisal. Slide 1, Root Editor. Transas Root Safety Check Information. Before using a route for navigation, it must be checked for potential dangers. The system will only check within the parameters you have set either side of the navigation track for those dangers. Slide 2. Safe route safety check part 1 or 2. Checking route for dangers, ENCs only. Slide 3. Route Safety Check Part 2 of 2. Route Danger Alert Description. Visual Indication of Danger.
Transas adding information to route introduction. Once the route has been checked, the navigator will need to add supplementary information along the route such as CTS, rudder angle, WO points and bearings, text information, tidal stream and information. He or she must be comfortable in how to highlight critical points and areas along the planned route. Course, plan speed and waypoint numbers may not be displayed by default and for birth to birth planning we must be able to add to the chart. The next slide shows us where to do that. Slide 4, adding information overlay. Link to route. Transas merging routes introduction. To complete birth to birth planning, it is reasonable to assume that the navigator would actually create a series of shorter routes and then merge them together. For example, birth to pilot station, then pilot to pilot station. This would allow the original birth to pilot routes sorry, the original birth to pilot route to be used again as part of a different voyage plan. Slide 5 merge routes. Select a saved route. Route linked with existing route. Transas import and export introduction. It is prudent to back up navigation routes routinely. There also may be a requirement to import a route. The next hotspots show where this is. Remember, always consider the risk of importing a virus when transferring data. Slide 6, import and export. To access the data tool's utility to import and export routes, change from Exis mode to data tool utility. Internal drive, external drive. Now that module's complete, we go down to the test and complete the questions. Question 1. Where would you go to create adding information for the route? 1, 2, 3 or 4. Where do you review the dangers and cautions on your planned route? Okay, two out of two, 100%. Click here to continue or move on to the next module. Module four, route monitoring. And as always, we start off with the introduction slide. After approving the plan and in preparation for C, the system needs to be set up for route monitoring. The display needs to change so we can see the key information we need without having to manipulate the screen whilst at C. A reminder of some of the abbreviations used in ECDIS that you may now see as you configure the screen. SMG, speed made good. DTG, distance to go. CMG, course made good. TTG, time to go. XTL, cross track limit. And XTD, cross track distance. Slide 1, route monitoring. Transas load route introduction. The first thing we need to do is load the route and then make it our active route. Multiple routes can be created and even displayed but only the active route will generate the valuable alarms and give the mariner indications on track and safe water.
Slide 2, load route. Select desired route and activate route. Transas route display options introduction. We now need to consider other overlays when monitoring this route such as how the route appears and how our ship symbol appears. Most of this should be reflected in your onboard ship's procedures and SMS. At this point it is well worth familiarising yourself with how the company straight captain expects your exit to be configured when at sea. Slide 3 – Route Display Options Slide 4 – Own Ship Settings Vector Presentation Mode Vector and Ship Predictor Transas Safety Frame Introduction One of the final elements we need to consider is the on-screen vessel history, pass track, vectors, presentation or display mode, and any other useful tools that can help monitor our passage better. As with the other modules, please now hover over the hotspots and ensure you know where these menus are on your ECTIS, and are aware of what they should be set to in accordance with your procedures. Visual Display of Ship Safety Frame this is the slide 5 safety frame. Transass alarms and warnings introduction. The final, and many would say most critical, mini to review when monitoring at sea is the ECTIS ability to look ahead automatically for you and alarm for any dangers. The parameters for the automatic live check will be documented on board. At this stage you need to access your SMS stroke procedures and ensure you can access the menu and set up correctly as you review the slide. Slide 6. Alarms and warnings part 1 of 2. Alarm and warning list. Safety alarms. Anti-grounding alarms. Slide 7, Alarms and Warnings Part 2 of 2 Navigation Alarms Now we've completed the module, simply scroll down and select the test. Question 1. Which menu tab can you turn on the safe ship's safety frame? Question 2. When the HD sensor fails and turns red in the sensor indicator window, which of the following alerts will you receive? Let's wait for the results. Yep, 2 out of 2, 100%. Click here to continue. Module 5, Chart Updating. Transas Manual Corrections Introduction. You may be expected to show evidence that you can amend an ENC chart with either a local warning or temporary correction. Even if this is not your routine role on board, it is reasonable to expect all the bridge officers to be able to amend a chart with a local warning, just as they did on paper. Take some time when reviewing the next slide and practice on your actual actus the ability to add navigational points.
Slide 1. Manual Corrections. Manually insert chart correction. Chart symbol options. Transas Chart Catalog and Management Introduction Your vessel may have a planning station or even an external software system connected to your ECDIS that allows you to review both the electronic charts available and those you have installed. The navigator will review the passage plan and ensure he or she has adequate charts of the correct scale and review elements of potential RCDS mode which may therefore require a paper backup depending upon the flag. Slide 2, Chart Catalog Part 1 of 2. Chart Catalog Loading. Caution, will change Ecdis mode to Chart Catalog mode. Chart Catalog. Slide 3, Chart Catalog Part 2 of 2. Chart Type. Visual Display of Chart Catalog. Chart database filter options, chart catalog list. Transas chart permits introduction. Your charts require permits to be installed. The following slide shows where this happens. Take time to open the menu and read the options in case you are required to do this one day. Slide 4. Chart Permits. Permits Info. Transas Chart Updating Introduction Similar to the installing permits, you need to be aware of how you install the actual charts. Remember this ACAT is designed to point you in the right direction of your actual ECDIS and to prove you are refreshed in these basic menus and concepts. Slide 5 Chart Updating Charts Available Select Drive Manual Browse Slide 6. Chart Updating. Chart Update Log Details. Transas ENC Spot Check Introduction. There is still a requirement to conduct spot checks on both ENC and RNC charts if installed. On the ECDIS now, we need to ensure that you can find a chart update number and evidence that the charts have been corrected. Slide 7, ENC Spot Check. Spot Check. Chart Update Info. Transas Rasta Chart Spot Check Introduction. There are still requirements to conduct spot checks on both ENC and RNC charts if installed. 
On the Ectis now, we need to ensure that you can find the chart update number and evidence that the charts have been corrected. Raster chart spot check. Correction. Mark update. Okay, that's the end of module 5, now down to the test. In which order should the below chart information need to be installed first? Where can you find the chart catalogue for ENC charts? Just waiting for the results. Okay, 2 out of 2, 100%. And that's it. We've now completed the Transas Navisailer 4000 Ectis Annual Competency Assurance Training 2016. Thank you very much.